A pleasant day to everyone. We are the researchers from the group 5. And for today's presentation, we are going to tackle about our study which entitled The Relationship of Using Calculator to the Length of Time Used in Answering the Test of the Grade 11 Student of Jose Abad Santos High School. I am Nicolin Choi Bilarmino. Together with my team, Crystal Maya Brincilio, Colleen Colaton, Jim Kenneth Florentino, and Marlon Brando Solidad. And we are the researchers. Purpose of the study. The purpose of the study is to find out if there's a relationship of using calculators to the length of time used in answering the test of the grade 11 student of Jose Abad Santos High School. The researchers chose this to be their title since this was conducted in the midst of pandemic where they can easily find the respondents of their survey form from that school due to the fact that they're studying there as well. Significant of the study The finding of the study will redound to the benefit of society, considering that the calculators play a vital role in solving mathematics today. When the study result shows that the two variables have a relationship, it will benefit the professors to improve the knowledge of their student in solving mathematics. This can help companies that sell calculators to increase their sale number and the calculator inventors so that they can do another study to improve the function of the current calculator. At this moment, here's the statement of the problem of our study. First statement of the problem, how many minutes can be used in one hour to complete the examination of grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School when using a calculator? Statement problem number two, does using the calculator have an advantage to grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School in answering the test? And statement number three, is there a significant relationship between the use of calculator and the length of time? Before we are going to proceed to our data presentation for our study, here's the percentage of the respondents in each strand. It shows that 77% of students from STEM strand, 21% from the UM strand, and 2% from the ICT strand. In order to answer the query of in SOP1, here's the data presentation from the queries in the survey. First question, how often do you use a calculator? From the data presented, it shows that majority of the students, which is 27%, use the calculator twice a week. For the next query, how many minutes do you use? Do you finish the examination in one hour when you use calculator? From the data presented gathered by the researchers, it shows that 47% of the students answered that they can finish their examination within 45 minutes in one hour. Therefore, the answer, the answer is that the sta statement of the problem 1. How many minutes can be used in one hour to, com to complete the examination of grade 11 students of Jose Bad Santos High School when you use calculator? Based on the results, from the survey gathered by the researcher, majority of the grade 11 students of Los Abad Santos, which is 28% of them use the calculators twice a week, and 48% of them that can complete their examination within 45 minutes in one hour. Before we continue for the day uh, presentation, to answer the SOP number 2, here's the table for 5-point Likert scale. If you see, the left side of the table, is the rating scale and the right side of the table is the interpretation rating scale from 0 0.01 to 1 is never 1.01 to 2 is rarely 2.01 to 3 is sometimes 3.01 to 4 is often 4.01 to 5 is always now here's the table for the table which shows the statement mean and the interpretation we can get the mean by using the formula of summation of x divided by the number of the respondents then we look for the table for likert scale then we can interpret the mean we now have the answer in the statement of the problem number two does using the calculator have an advantage to grade 11 student for santos high school in answering the test. 
According to the result from the survey gathered by the researchers, they formulated that the majority of the students have answered always and often. Therefore, indeed there is an advantage to the grade 11 students of Posiabad Santos High School when they use the calculator in answering the test. Statement of the problem number 3. Is there a significant relationship between the use of a calculator and length of time? The researchers used Pearson's R correlation coefficient formula to find the significant relationship between the two variables. We used the data from the survey gathered and we got a result of negative 0.25 for computed value. The researchers used critical correlation value to assess the significance of the coefficient R. In finding the critical correlation value, the researchers used a significance level of 0.05 for a two-tailed test. Calculating the critical value using also the data gathered from the survey, we got a result of 0.312. Since the computed value is less than the critical value, the null hypothesis is rejected. Therefore, there is a relationship between the use of a calculator and the length of time in answering the test to the grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School. With the gathered data, it can be concluded that most of the grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School which use the calculator twice a week and majority of them can complete their examination within 45 minutes in one hour. It can be concluded as well that there is an advantage to the grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School when they use a calculator in answering the test. Previous researchers stated that the students who have a calculator have an advantage in problem solving in mathematics. This was according to Bridgman, Harvey, and Braswell in the year 1995. Previous researchers also show that the students who have access to the graphing calculator significantly score higher in problem solving compared to their counterparts who did not use the graphing calculator. This was stated by Allison in the year 2000. These findings are compatible with the results obtained in the study. Since there is a relationship between the use of calculator and the length of time in answering the test to the grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School. As the research has demonstrated, the researchers suggested these following recommendations with all sophistication and humility. First recommendation for students. The researchers would like to recommend that the grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos Senior High School and other schools as well would use a calculator to lessen the length of time in answering their tests, especially with mathematical problems or equations. For teachers, acknowledge and consider this research because the results may help to educate them on how calculators can affect students' answers when solving mathematical problems that make computations quicker, more exact, and learn more about formulas by the help of the calculators. And lastly, for the future researchers, they should provide a specific type of calculator to be studied between using that to the length of time in answering the test of the students. Also, the future researchers can also make a research on how they are going to upgrade a better version of a calculator in order to make the mathematics computation of the students quicker and get an accurate answer. Thank you so much for watching and listening of our presentation of our study. Again, I am Nicole Joy P. Bilarmino together with my co-researchers, Crystal May Abrincilio, Colin Colaton, Jim Kenneth Florentino, and Marlon Brando Soledad. We are from the Group 5.